My fact this week is that this is the most famous snail in Britain right now. It is famous because its genitals are the wrong way round. This is Jeremy. This week, scientists in Nottingham have announced that they're searching for a partner for Jeremy to mate with because Jeremy is a one in a million left-handed snail and it can't mate with right-handed snails. Well, one snail. thing I noticed from this picture is they don't seem to have hands. <laughs> left-handed is it's the direction that the shell spirals isn't it yeah yeah so snails uh, grow what in either anti-clockwise or clockwise so anti-clockwise means it's left-handed and means it can't mate successfully with snails whose organs are grown in a clockwise direction right literally about to say all that um, <laughs> <laughs> Nottingham University has put a calling out to all of the UK saying if you can find a snail that is a lefty as well, please get in contact because there is serious science behind it and it's got huge implications. You were reading into the study, didn't you? Uh, yes, this is a similar thing that they have in humans. It's called situs inversus and one in 10,000 humans have it and it means all your organs are on the opposite side. Um, and it means that if you have this, you should kind of wear a medical tag because otherwise, if you kind of are unconscious and they try and find your heart and it's on the wrong side, it can be a real problem. Mm. Uh, there are some famous people with it. Enrique Iglesias has it. Uh, and normally it's OK, but actually there can be some other kind of associated problems with it. And so I think what they're doing is they're going to try and mate two lefty snails because they might have the same genes as humans and that might be able to give us some kind of idea of how to deal with this in humans. And are yeah. they looking for a mate for Enrique Iglesias? <laughs> I suppose the lucky thing with humans is our genitals are all right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just very quickly, I just want to say that, ladies and gentlemen, we actually have a celebrity in the audience tonight. Yeah. Is it Enrique Iglesias? <laughs> <laughs> Even better, Jeremy the Snail is with us tonight. <laughs> Look around. Look around. <laughs> he might be sat right next to you. <laughs> Don't put your feet down on the floor. <laughs> so Jeremy's brought his scientist with him tonight. <laughs> and that is Angus Davison, who is here, who did the study. And Jeremy is sitting right here. This is one... Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, well, he's handling him. <laughs> At the moment, he's going, put me down! <laughs> so... Angus, uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for bringing Jeremy. Uh, we're not actually allowed to touch Jeremy because he's technically, insurance-wise, priceless. This is up <laughs> But so, uh, Jeremy is here. He's sitting... Oh, my God, his, his shell has just come off. Oh, no, that's two snails. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, there goes the series. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you've got... So that's a left-handed snail. So Jeremy is on the right here and... Uh, Teresa was on the <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the chances? Because you've had this calling out to have a mate be found for Jeremy for about a week now. That's right, yeah. Ha any, anyone we sending stuff in? I think so far, but. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what should people do if they find a left handed snail? <laughs> <laughs> well, send me a photo. Okay. Yeah. Is it what? true that. Are you fussy? Is it like you were <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Very, very, very slowly swiping left.